Curtis Corp. This is courtesy of Variety magazine. So, I think I mentioned earlier, this was, must have been, what, this probably could have been a few months ago. I'm assuming this was June. I'm going to say June of last year. There was an article I shared um, quite often on the podcast about uh, one of the people involved with Coachella or something, right, saying in June 2020 that he most likely didn't think live events would return again until june 2022 right and at the time it sounded flipping insane but of course as time went on as the virus spread more variants you know were found in different places it was like jesus that guy was right he was like a savant this was before he had any knowledge of a, of a vaccine you know being you know fast-tracked uh through to approval and, and us being in position that we're in now so he kind of called it but obviously since the vaccine has kind of got rolled out especially in the uk things have just changed overnight prospects you know various industries and just the overall tone and feel of the entire country has completely changed and this is kind of credit and this is kind of lines up to it and this is courtesy of variety the headline reads live nation ceo says u.s music festivals could reopen by midsummer um as you know already in the uk we have a timeline that effectively allows festivals to reopen if i'm not mistaken from june onwards there's been a, there'll be a possibility for festivals to go back to normal quote unquote without any need of a reduced capacity maybe obviously some you know some standard safety protocols and health and safety things but there'll be no need to do anything right out of the ordinary if we continue with the vaccinations as we are at the moment and just reopen as per and this kind of article sort of um explains why that is uh so continue just read a bit over here Live Nation has taken a timeline provided by the British government as an all clear for the summer festival season. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, selling some 170,000 170,000 yeah, 170,000 tickets this week to three UK major festivals that were put on sale this week. Um, and according to the comments made around the company's grim 2020 earnings report on Thursday, it's optimistic that North America could be on a similar pace. On Monday, the British government set out a timeline that states that large music events in the UK can resume at 100% capacity beginning June 21st, effectively the start of this lucrative summer season. Shortly afterward, Live Nation put up 100,000 tickets for its Reading and Leeds Festival scheduled for the 27th and the 29th of August, all of which sold out uh, by late in the week, according to the music business worldwide. The company also put up tickets to its dance music based Creamfields events taking place in August 26th and 29th on the sale this week as well announcing that the event was sold out 70,000 tickets in 48 hours record breaking time which is obviously makes complete sense right the, this is kind of the general reaction everyone assumed in the entertainment industry especially considering that we were kind of in an extended lockdown I think if this would have happened maybe sometime last year I don't think the demand would have been as strong but because we spent a, an extended period of time locked down people's desire to go back outdoors to see strangers to touch faces to dance amongst people has just grown right the appetite has just grown and i think some people it's probably um outside of the people that are interested in it i'm assuming a lot of people that are going to these events some of them might be their actual first rave or their first festival they just want to be outdoors kind of change up um, their scenery completely during the summer times and the great thing about this is that of course it allows festivals and things to reopen at 100 percent capacity but it's also great because it just shows how much we've kind of how far things have developed and grown in the last few months isn't it like who would have imagined this would be our scenario this would be our reality especially in the uk you know just even you know the beginning of december when there was that conversation around a five-day break for christmas and shit who could have imagined we'll be in a position where we could be seeing ourselves in festivals in the field somewhere covered in mud you know pupils you know dilated about to go to a festival who would have assumed that could happen it's absolutely incredible to see and again a real turn up for the books because i said myself i made a prediction that i most likely thought we were only going to be back between what 2022 as well i said early 2022 i'd assumed that would be the date or they might kind of squeeze it before the end of the year just to give people a chance to kind of celebrate the new year in a kind of positive light i thought that might be a thing but to be in a situation where legitimately we could be what going back to carnival this year or something as well just summer it's insane it continues here. Live Nation CEO Michael Rapino trumpeted the statistics on company's earning call on late um, call on late Thursday, um, which cumulatively balanced understandably disastrous financial results for 2020 with a soaring stock price. It's considerably higher than it was last year, um, and unvarnished optimism for the future. 
asked during the call about when the large scale events might resume, he said, every day we seem to have a new state or country talking about when they'll reopen. So we're feeling very optimistic that we're going to where we'll be a month ago. Lots of artists are calling, uh, looking at how they'll start things up in July, August, September. So for right now, we still believe that we'll have, uh, we'll have enough to open the UK, Australia, China, sorry, Canada and US to keep what we have on the books in the amphitheaters booked for now. We might have a... Uh, we might have we might have certain states that might not be ready, but we have enough states, enough artists willing to play the open slots if we get that level and in the right market. Of course, do you, is do you think there's an artist out there at the moment that exists that will turn down a free slot to go play at some of these festivals, especially after spending this prolonged period of time indoors, not doing what you know or love best? Come on, they're going to be chomping at a bit clawing at the door of these promoters trying to get themselves on it and you know rightly so it continues so um, so as long as these states open up in the right capacities he concluded we can sit there midsummer and in the southern u.s we can go all the way into november uh, probably miami florida is probably a good place to go with that one uh rapino implicitly um noted that things would not not as clear in the u.s not clear clear cut in the u.s where no similar timeline has been set by the federal government and such decisions may be under jurisdiction of states or even countries he said we think we're better off uh, waiting for a high bar capacity moment in most of these states to ramp up and to talk artists about getting paid properly um said rapino adding that the prospect of 75 plus capacity could have reopened in large u.s markets was within sight yeah that makes sense because i think if you're a bigger artist playing a small capacity venue or reduced capacity just isn't worth your time um the promoter or the event organizer probably can't justify paying your full rate you can't justify charging the full amount and you're not also guaranteed to have everyone attend because the virus is still looming whereas the sentiment completely with punters um will completely change if we're sort of at a 75 percent um capacity level because that'll mean that most likely the you know most of the population has been vaccinated or you know herd immunity has been achieved through some you know measure whatever it may be but it gives you a far better option a far better way of maybe recouping your monies especially if you're a bigger artist or even just smaller artists it's probably just worth more to have 75 percent of the capacity as opposed to under just doesn't make any sense even if you're playing in a bar um live nation made a bold statement in the confidence earlier this year early this month sorry by placing rescheduled tickets of weekends after hours tour which was originally scheduled to launch in may then moved several months later and now scheduled to begin in january 2022 on sale with several dates um dozen days added so that weekend tour now is not looking that dominant remember everyone was fucking going crazy about the weekend announcing his tour but it's looking really optimistic going forward man and i can't wait i honestly honestly can't wait and then obviously to make it um make it real Places like Gala, this little festival that they do in, I think, is it, is it Peckham? Or is it Lewisham? It's Peckham. Peckham, right? They announced their lineup too. So they're, they're on board too. Is it Gala 2021? Uh, announced for the 31st to the 1st of August. Um, the lineup is pretty decent as well. It's a little bit of a hipster lineup, don't get me wrong. But still a very solid lineup and a good indication that things are returning to some semblance of normality. Um, you have Bradley Zero, CCC Disco, Coco Maria, who I'm a big fan of, um, Gerd Jansen of Suda I Love, Horsemeat Disco, I've seen a bunch of time, Job Jobs, uh, Job Jobsy, sorry, the Dutch DJ, MCDE, who now goes by mostly John or something. That's what he goes by now, and I think he got shamed out of using the full name in it, in its full essence, in mostly John Ensemble by uh, techno twitter a lot in it they probably shamed him out of using that <laughs> reparations and shit um move d luke solomon back to back with gideon robin flugel shy one playing gang gang uh giles peterson of course eliza rose like that's a stacked lineup and that's already been confirmed tickets i think are going out i'm sh is it next week or something like that i think it's next week should be next week or something but yeah Good sign, man. Good sign that life, normal life is resuming in some semblance going forward. Let's see. Was it next week or is it coming up? I remember seeing there's going to be tickets announced. When is it? The, 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 no real idea. Does it say tickets? What does it say? Tickets going to sell on the 4th of March. So definitely check that out. Gala going forward. And then to make matters even realer, if you weren't um, on board before, You'll definitely be on board now the faith anniversary of brian pride will also go ahead in august so that means more more than likely 
um, we're probably going to have a carnival going forward. I think from the last I read, the carnival organisers said they're basically going forward with organising things as per normal. They haven't really changed anything, so that probably means that they're expecting it to go forward. And I can't imagine a world, which, again, the UK government, you know, they're, they're always full of surprises. But if they could imagine they decided to just um, let Brian Pride go ahead, but then tell, you know, tell us people, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> that we can't go to carnival that would be hilarious the, the the flipping backlash would be insane imagine that um but yes it's the anniversary of pride is going forward on brighton from august so yeah man good signs going ahead man optimistic life is looking good for us over here 